Mr. Morris, I understand that uh, you are the first Director General of the uh, Federation Labor Office to visit this country for the, uh, the past 40 years. Uh, now, uh, would you please say a few words upon your arrival? Yes, I, I uh, will say that I'm extremely happy to be here. I've been looking forward for many years to coming to the Republic of China, but this has been my first uh, opportunity. I've just come from the Sixth Asian Regional Conference of the ILO in Tokyo, and I would like to thank all of the representatives of the trade union movement of uh, the Republic of China and of the employers' uh, organization and of the government who have come here, the minister and others, to welcome me. I'm very touched by this, and I'm looking forward to having a, a good and profitable visit in your country. And, uh, would you please tell us, uh, do you have any, any special mission of your visit to this country? Yes, I uh, intend, uh, first of all, to uh, become acquainted with the latest developments uh, in social and economic areas in the Republic of China. I want to see the institutions and to learn how you've been able to uh, develop your agricultural policy the way you have and your industrialization policy. I want to see how our projects have been working, and then I want to discuss with the government any further areas of cooperation and activity in which we uh, should engage in the future. I can say more about this at the press conference when I leave your country a few uh, day, days from now, but uh, this uh, substantially is the answer to your question. You just mentioned uh, a regional meeting uh, here in Tokyo uh, in this month, and uh, I wonder if you would like to say, uh, uh, to, to mention some of the, the uh, important conclusions or any significance of that conference. Well, I think the most important uh, conclusion was the uh, decision uh, on a, an Asian manpower plan for all of Asia. And this is very important because it uh, was a unanimous decision taken by all of the governments of Asia and uh, also uh, by the trade union representatives and the employer organizations of Asia. And this plan uh, is to be uh, an operating plan for employment creation and development, skill formation, human resource development for Asia as a whole. And uh, it will also be a plan which will eventually become part of the World Employment Program of the ILO, which will be launched in 1969. And we hope that that's successful, that this World Employment Program, the employment objectives and uh, target setting uh, uh, objectives, of the plan will become part of the United Nations Second Development Decade, which begins in 1970. So it was very important uh, uh, discussion. Your government and the workers and the employers of the Republic of China played a very big role in achieving this result, and I'm very grateful to them. And uh, they, they displayed uh, great leadership, and we hope in the future to take advantage of the experience of, of uh, China in its uh, agricultural, educational, and training experience so that we can use this experience uh, within the framework of the Asian Manpower Plan as a whole. The second important decision was on population uh, growth. There is, as you know, this tremendous issue of population. We took a decision concerning this matter. Third was on management development, which is very important. I won't go into the details. And finally, a very important decision on Social Security coverage. All of these problems